Kelly Hodet Champs. Now, I've already made a couple of videos on this Aero 15X. You can check those out. I'll talk about my impressions, a bit about thermals, and I've also established that this is a content creator's dream, as I've done a separate video editing review for this laptop. And believe it or not, you can actually edit 8K footage, and when it renders, it doesn't throttle. Now, a lot of people have asked me to compare this to the MSI GS65, and I'm trying to get one of those in-house now. But if you look at Linus's review, he actually said it actually throttled when it rendered out footage in Premiere Pro. Now, this one will not throttle video editing, but will it throttle gaming? And how does it perform gaming? Well, let's find out. So of course, if you don't know, this is the 15X. There is a 15, which has a GTX 1060. Both the 15 and 15X share the same processor. So they have the awesome new 8th generation 6 core, 45 watt, 8750H processors, 6 cores, 12 threads. And this 15X here has a GTX 1070 Max-Q and 16 gigabytes of RAM running at single channel. Now when I mention these benchmarks, some of these games will actually improve their benchmarks when you actually add another 16 gigabytes of RAM and run it in dual channel. Some games it won't make a difference, but some it will. This also sports 144 hertz full HD IPS panel and it is a glorious panel, very color accurate and it's just so good for gaming. If you haven't used the high refresh monitor for gaming, it just takes gaming to the next level. You get that super connected feeling. This is a brilliant display and it just makes gaming that much more enjoyable. Also, the very thin bezel it has around there immerses you more because you see just screen instead of seeing a fat ugly bezel. So with all that horsepower, you want to know how it games, so I'm not going to make you wait any longer i'll tell you the benchmarks now but i just want to be perfectly frank here and honest i thought 100 percent this would throttle with these eight generation parts i thought especially with a gtx 1070 max q in a package this small and thin and light i thought 100 percent is going to throttle also it has ethernet too now i don't know how to class this device is it a gaming laptop no is it a content creation laptop maybe is it sort of bit of both yes it's maybe a gaming laptop in disguise but it's fantastic for gaming and content creation and i don't think there's many laptops that are great at both sure there's gaming laptops that are great at gaming but content creation they're a bit big the displays aren't good for content creation and they don't give a creator what they want but then you have creators laptops like your macbook pros and xps 15s now the xps 15 is a good gaming laptop but it's not as good as a gaming laptop and this laptop here is as good as a gaming laptop but it's also good for content creation. So it's very unique. And I think you could say it's one or the other. It's as good as gaming laptops at gaming, yet you get that slim, nice premium build of a 15 inch Ultrabook content creation device. The best of both worlds. So anyway, let's get into benchmarks. Okay, if you want to know the difference between this system with the 8th generation 6 core and a GTX 1070 Max-Q and say, for example, a previous generation with a GTX 1060, the difference is this will run games at 100 frames per second plus at ultra settings, whereas the GTX 1060 will run 100 frames per second at medium settings. I think that nails the difference perfectly. Now, all the tests I've done in ultra or epic or at the minimum high high which i do with dsx and of course you can lower the settings if you want even higher frame rates now when you see my live gameplay later you'll actually see the thermals and see actually how hot it gets so make sure you watch that and another tip too you cannot install the graphics driver from nvidia you have to get the one from gigabyte and i highly recommend you uninstall nvidia experience or geforce experience whatever it's called uninstall that and your frames will go up i don't know why that is but just do it so benchmarks what you're all here to see battlefield 1 1080p ultra settings 95 frames per second overwatch epic settings 127 frames per second. PUBG Ultra Settings, 105 frames per second. And that's nearly as good as a desktop. Fortnite. <laughs> 
Yeah, that got 109 frames per second at epic settings. Actually starting to enjoy that a little bit more, I'm embarrassed to say. But anyway, one of the games where it really excelled and I think it took advantage of those extra two cores in gaming, whereas the other games, you know, was only a little bit faster than the previous generation. When we're talking 7th generation quad cores versus the 6th core 8th generation parts, there wasn't that much difference. One game, the extra two cores made a big difference is DSX Mankind Divided. I always benchmark that game because it's usually 20 to 30 percent slower than all the other games because it's just a system killer i got nearly 90 frames per second at high settings with dsx mankind divided usually that's like a 60 70 frame per second game at medium and most of the time i'll try it at medium because high would actually just crush the system but i could see that it was getting like 60 percent cpu usage i could tell it was actually getting a boost just because of those extra cores and instead of being 20 to 30 percent behind the rest of the games in frames per second it was actually only 10 percent say behind PUBG. so that's the first time i've ever seen such a close cap and i still think there's more to get out of these systems now when it comes to display it's fantastic for gaming as i said didn't notice any ghosting and when it comes to thermals maximum is about 90 degrees you can even overclock the gpu and still it won't throttle so that really amazed me you're getting around 3.5 3.5 to 4 gigahertz depending on the temperature it doesn't throttle at all and that's the cpu i'm talking about the gpu 70 to 80 degrees it just goes full noise the whole time and talking about noise yes it is as loud as a gaming laptop but look how thin and light it is and the components it's housing i think it's a miracle that can actually make a package this small that doesn't throttle at all and really gets the maximum performance out of those parts so this thing will hold its own against any gaming laptop with the same hardware so considering you get the maximum performance out of the game you're going to be playing high or ultra settings 100 frames per second most games if not more what a fantastic device for gaming it really is so now let's look at my live gameplay watch for the telemetry i'd like to thank you guys for watching if you're new around here please subscribe and until the next one guys tally ho okay so i'm playing battlefield 1080p ultra settings okay and the reason I've selected this game to test the thermals out is because this game made the Aero 15 the hottest out of any other game. For some reason, I don't know why, but it made it the hottest. So this is the torture test in terms of thermals. As you can see, it pushes 90 to 100 frames per second at ultra. This is at ultra. Um, you can see it's 3.6 gigahertz, the CPU with the telemetry there. I'm actually recording using shadow play. Um, the GTX 1070 doesn't really affect the frame rate uh, when you play the game and record but um, as you can see the GPU is at 1400 megahertz or actually uh, 1500 now so that's going along fine it will not throttle it will touch into the 90s the CPU side but the actual game will not throttle and to get a hundred frames on Battlefield 1 uh, ultra settings without throttling is just amazing and this is as hot as it gets this is as bad as it gets I've tried like 12 different titles on this now um, this is as bad as it gets in terms of thermals and as you can see it's not really bad yet it will go into the 90s but look at the clock speed it's still doing 3.5 gigahertz that's amazing and the GPU is still at pretty much full speed for a max q 1070 so this is great frames per second great performance you can probably hear the fan there's a price to pay of course it is noisy it's the same noise as a gaming laptop this is what this has um, even though arguably it's more a content creation device or like a gaming laptop in disguise maybe you could say it is um, but it's more like a premium ultra thin package it's not like a full-on gaming laptop but it games like a champ and as you can see the thermals i wish this guy would just die why is he dying come on how do i reload oh, okay oh that's why all right so this german's going where are you going all right sorry you could hear my phone but still constantly you're getting that 100 frames per second um, 
it will not throttle at all and this is as bad as it gets this game makes it the hottest out of every game I tested I think you'll agree that this is a gaming beast I still think there's more to come from it okay this is at ultra as well as I've mentioned I still think there's more optimization to be had and I still think there'll be um, you know better performance coming down the track you know within you know the first you know six months of its life something like that um, it will not throttle I played this game for a long time not now but before and it doesn't throttle and I'll actually do something I'll actually overclock the GPU now of course if you overclock the GPU the CPU temperature is going to go up as well so the CPU frequency will drop it doesn't throttle remember the base frequency of this CPU is actually 2.2 gigahertz so if it's going over 2.2 gigahertz it's actually not throttling um, so this never throttles it doesn't even get close to it and the MSI uh, GS65 is it like that throttles just video editing uh, rendering so um, you can imagine when it games I don't think it'll be um, that great so let's go oh, see if I can see we'll go up oh, of the GPU as you can see it's doing 1600 megahertz instead of 1415 now it's doing 1600 now of course doing that you're putting more heat on the same pipe that the um, CPU is on so the CPU should increase so in turn that will decrease the clock speed of the CPU now it's not going to throttle but it may drop a bit more than it would like usually 200 megahertz but look at it it's 1500 on the GPU there you know you're only getting maximum 80 on the GPU and CPU maximum 90 but I'm really glad that they didn't start throttling it at 90 you know heavily throttling it because some other you know laptops would start throttling it at, at sorry throttling it at um, 90 degrees the reality is these CPUs can go up to 100 and I've seen them go up to 100 on MacBook Pros all the time like MacBook Pros they let their CPUs go up to 100 all the time like just that's normal for them so I don't feel that 90 degrees is that hot I will say that underneath where the um, CPU and GPU is underneath it is hot like to touch like it'll be very uncomfortable on your lap but on the desktop you're not going to have any issues um, and the actual keyboard doesn't get that hot I mean it's a little bit warm you know around the J and the H area but overall you know the keyboard's just slightly warm it actually controls the heat to the keyboard very well but um, underneath oh hello he's going to try and blow me up yeah underneath um, in where the GPU is and the CPU is uh, in the middle basically and in that middle vent it does get quite warm there so but internally 90 degrees you're having a laugh it doesn't throttle look at it I'm overclocking this too <laughs> this is overclocked now and you'll see that you know the fire strike score you can get an extra nearly thousand just from overclocking it and you know do I recommend overclocking it I don't recommend overclocking it I mean why wouldn't it anyway oh I did I close it I accidentally closed the telemetry there that's no good uh, after burn oh okay it should start opening up in a minute but um what I will say also because it has a 144 Hertz display super smooth super connected gaming and you're getting over 100 frames on ultra 1080p on battlefield 1 I mean what's not to like if you want to lower the settings down a little bit and get higher frame rates you can do that I think once you get to 100 frames per second it's just super buttery smooth and it's awesome so um, look at it it's just plowing along the same frames per second as when I started the game and as you'll see the clock speed of the um, GPU has gone down a bit because I've underclocked it well I've put it back to stock I haven't underclocked it but I can easily put that up to 15 to 1500 1600 by just that slight overclock and still doesn't throttle with that overclock on the GPU so ooh, I'll blow up this thanks for watching guys I think you will agree that this is one gaming beast 
video editing beast doesn't throttle thermals well control yes it does get hot underneath at the bottom in that middle part where the gpu and cpu is so don't put it on your lap well so anyway i'm getting blown up now but what a machine what a machine love it catch you in the next one ciao